so excited for this video and I am so excited for spring this year. So let's do this. Let's decorate for spring. I have some cool different ways to decorate this year that I thought were fun and something that I hadn't seen before. And I'm really excited to share with you this entire video. I hope you love it. And if you do, please slam that thumbs up button. It really helps my channel and it lets me know that you want more decor videos in the future. So without further ado, let's do this. So the very first thing I did is went ahead and cleaned up my kitchen. One of the things that I've recently invested in is a bunch of really healthy cookbooks. And one thing that I really want to do this spring is to make more healthy foods in the kitchen. I am the queen of ordering food off of DoorDash and I want to make more home cooked meals and less fast food options. We're getting really close to getting our kitchen finished and I am so excited. But for now, I want to decorate this kitchen just like me, maybe over decorated this spring. So it can just feel like this place where I can step inside the kitchen and just be like, ah, oh, that feels really refreshing or that feels really nice. So that's kind of the goal that I'm gonna go for. Minimal with a little bit of modern and something that I hadn't seen before. When it came to decor this year, I got most of my items at Home Goods and Michaels. I got maybe one item from Pottery Barn, but everything else was predominantly from Home Goods. Let me know in the comments below what is one thing you are super excited for this spring. One thing I'm excited for is to move my body, get outside, and drinking lemonade. I don't know why, but I love lemonade and it just makes me feel like warm weather is coming. There's so many times that I contemplate moving to Florida or moving down south because I hate being in the cold. Does anyone else ever do that or is it just me? I've also been starting to use gloves when I clean even though a lot of the products that I use to clean with are not super harsh chemicals I want to make sure that I'm making good choices for my body Selfish, you get mad every time you lose. You can't take me with you. I'm scared you're gonna blow your fuse. Come a little bit closer. Yeah, I can really start over. Yeah, in the back of my mind. And then I'm just gonna move on to dishes. The dishwasher was actually running, so I had to do all of the other ones by hand. And right now for Alexa, I've been listening to the Hot Singles playlist. I usually start it on song four, and it's been really good this past week. Waiting on me, you're just wasting my time because you're scared and lonely. Finally got some closure. Yeah, I can finally start over. And 
if you guys have not been to my brand new channel, Cash Crush, I'm going to link it in the description box below. Make sure you go on over there and subscribe. Wednesday's video is about how much YouTube paid us for 14 million viewed video and how much to expect to get paid on YouTube. It'll be a good one. So go on over there and make sure you subscribe and let me know when you come over from this channel so I can recognize you. A lot of people's thumbnails and usernames I recognize instantly. So I want to go ahead and thank you for coming over from this channel to that channel. So please leave a comment. She's too used to be. Your friend said that you left me. I'm glad that's what you believe. Please. All my ladies who got a brother that doesn't treat them right. Put your finger right in his face and tell that man bye bye. One thing that I've been trying to do is listen to more podcasts. At first, I was really into a lot of podcasts about finances and ways to be more business savvy, but one of the podcasts that I'm really wanting to dive into is how to be a better mom. So if you have a mommy podcast that you listen to or a mom podcast that gives good tips, advice, or just encouragement for motherhood, please share that with me in the comments below. As for decorating, one of the things that I'm going to do is use some of the new healthy cookbooks that I got and put them in the corner. I also grabbed this book pedestal off of Amazon for just a couple dollars. It wasn't quite the color I wanted, so I just ended up spray painting it white so that I could showcase the cookbook that I'm most excited about. I also got this really pretty modern flower vase from Home Goods. I thought it was really cute. I hadn't seen anything like it, and I thought it'd be a really pretty touch. If you come in my home, you will see a lot of modern pieces, but I also try to pull in a lot of cozy pieces as well. I also found this beautiful bouquet at Home Goods, and I thought this would be perfect to kind of store behind the books. And then I found this really cute porcelain bunny at Home Goods. And then I got some chocolate eggs as well. Funny thing is, the kids do not know that these eggs are edible. So they haven't touched them. But I thought this display was very different. It's not something I see all the time. Decorating with cookbooks and it's very practical, but at the same time, it is a big pop of color. For the sink area, I'm going to keep it very simple. One thing I'm really excited about incorporating for spring is little bits of orange. And I have started a little bit of a Ray Dunn obsession and I'm kind of excited about it. And these are my new Ray Dunn cups. I just had to show you. I'm so excited. I think they're adorable. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and ice the cupcakes. The kids are at school right now and I wanna surprise them with cupcakes for when they get home from school. I tend to not be the best at icing cupcakes, so I've decided to just do it with a knife and keep a very modern, clean look. It's easy and anybody can do it. Go, 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 go. 
And then I'm just adding some spring colored sprinkles. And if you wanted to be extra cute with the cupcakes, you could add a little chocolate bunny on top of each one. For the cupcake stand, I just added two little decor pieces to go underneath to just give it a little bit of spring vibes that I thought was adorable. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and sweep the whole kitchen. One thing I ended up replacing was the rug in the kitchen. I found this one and it is so gorgeous. It has very homey but a little bit of contemporary look to it and I just thought it was so beautiful. To find it at Home Goods for $19.99 was an absolute find. I wish I could have found just one more. And this is the finished look. Very clean, not too cluttered, but it still has lots of pops of pink and feels so refreshing and I love that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead into the kitchen and clear the space up. One thing that we recently did is pulled the rug because I was trying to DIY stain it into a more of a gray color and I'm not getting quite what I want. I'm even considering potentially spray painting it white. I know that sounds like the worst idea, but I was thinking maybe I could do that Judd rug, do you guys, if you guys remember what it looked like, white but then I worry about people stepping on it and then it transferring onto the floor. If you've ever done anything wild like that, let me know in the comments below. I know it sounds crazy, but I almost wanna give it a go. This is the one chore I do almost every single day, pulling all the chairs out and just cleaning up the kitchen table. When I was in college, I used to babysit for this family and they were so amazing. One thing that they were so good at is keeping their house immaculate and they had six kids. And one of the things she would tell me that she did every single night is get on her hands and knees and clean her entire kitchen floor every single night. I was utterly impressed and I've never done that yet, but I wanted to see if anyone else does that as well. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you.
Then I grabbed this gorgeous reef from Michael's. I thought it was so pretty. I could not resist. And normally I don't do reefs, but I wanted this space to feel very homey. I also grabbed this really pretty cheese tray from Michael's with marble on top, put a green tropical plant on top, and then grabbed a bouquet of baby's breath and these really cute rabbit salt and pepper shakers for the top. Just a little bit of spring, but still feels refreshing and clean. Take it to your heart. Then I am moving on to the living room. We actually ended up switching the rugs in here. If you guys remember, we had that white rug and it ended up getting quite a bit of stains. It was from West Elm and it was gorgeous and stunning. It was the kind of rug where you could move it with your hands and the color would almost change as you moved the material. However, since it was a polyester blend, it stained really easy and even my husband couldn't get the stains out. As far as the couch goes, if you guys know, I don't like a lot of color on my couch. I like it very California white, clean, just cozy. There's something about white and beige pillows that just wins me over every single time. I think it's relaxing, I think it's inviting, I just think it's perfect. So I grabbed a couple new ones and the old ones are on my bed. As far as the mantle goes, I want it to be simple with a little bit of pink, but not over the top. Normally when I decorate, I keep it very neutral. However, I do want to incorporate some pink so that it does feel refreshing and it feels more like spring. Why don't you get it by now? Tell me what you learned in grade school. Give it to me like you want it. Did you forget that golden rule? What is our love at one sided? It should really be give and take. Fill you up and leave me empty. Baby, was that my mistake? Covering these feelings. Going through changes. I'm just so mad right now. I can't even think straight. So I'm a judge. Sweet it and delete. Wiping down the bar, but this actually happens to be my favorite decor piece in the entire house right now. I love the way that it turned out. I grabbed some really eclectic and different pieces from Home Goods, and I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with them at first, but I love, I love the way this turned out. This mirror is set in a gorgeous stone, and I just thought it was so cool. I'd rather just sweet it in. In the corner, I'm using the floral arrangement from Pottery Barn, and then I got a bookend to kind of squeeze it together, and I feel like it pulled everything together better than I could have imagined. Also, 
Also, I want to share with you my printables. I know everyone is doing printables right now, and I was incredibly inspired by my girlfriend, Brie. She started doing these, and I was like, that is such a good idea, and I actually had my assistant create one that I love. My printer is a little bit messed up right now, so it's not printing it out ideally, but I'm going to link these down below for you guys. And on my goal planner, one of the things that I have is my finances, my health, ways to grow my mind, the books that I would like to read, and ways that I can improve relationships or friendships. Those are all very, very important to me and I wanna make sure that I focus on those every single month. Filling this out, whether it's in the middle, the beginning, even the end of the month, it doesn't matter. As long as I'm having time to reflect and really focus on what I need to do and I can come over to this list, I can check things off as I'm getting better at them, but one of the big things that I need to focus on this month is moving my body and not eating fast food. Um, I've been so busy with a lot of things on my plate and I tend to just grab DoorDash and just, I've been making a lot of unhealthy choices this month and that is not me and that is not who I want to be. So this month I really want to prep myself for some plant-based items. I want to make sure that I'm putting good stuff in my body. Then for the next day, I went ahead and just cleaned up our entranceway, cleaned up our oversized mirror, and just wanted to clean the play area in the front so this is kind of nice and it doesn't look like a hot mess. For the entranceway, we actually had Surround help us to kind of design this look and they picked out this really dark rug. I was so nervous about it when they first suggested it to me because I was like that's gonna darken the space and it's already so dark but I'm really glad that they suggested such a dark color I do have to stain the mirror black and I have yet to do that so it will kind of match and pull in together but I'm so glad that they suggest that to me because when people come in with their shoes it doesn't leave a stain or anything like that which is perfect and exactly what that space needed we try to talk about it our history says we'll just argue and i know you're gonna act a fool and then no one could tell the difference between me and you babe watching from then i am moving on into the bathroom and just cleaning up all of the kid messes And also, if you're looking for a good hand soap, this hand soap from Trader Joe's is amazing. I like the lemon and the grapefruit scent. They are just my favorite. They're so refreshing, they're not overpowering, and they make your hands smell so good. So if you're looking for a hand soap, try it. You're not gonna regret it. So I'm a I got these cute little towels from home goods that's the one thing my grandma says all the time there's never any towels in your bathroom so sometimes i try to double up so if she comes over there's a towel for her and then on our ledge i just have this really cute hydrangea flower and a sign that i got from michael's that says everyone needs a friend that is all ears so cute and so true and then i just added a little tiny bunny on the toilet and my husband jokes that he cannot wait to see when the bunny finally falls into the toilet. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up the floors. I do wanna say thank you guys so much for making it at the end of the video. If you made it at the end of the video, hashtag Harry Potter. I know that may sound weird, but that's one video series that I love to watch in the spring and I'll get to know who my people are that made it to the end of my video. I love seeing those people that make it to the end and they don't just comment in the first couple seconds. I love seeing the people that make it to the end. So please comment in the comment section down below, hashtag Harry Potter, so I can know who you are. 
I love you guys and thank you for being so supportive. Thank you for being you and thank you for being here. I absolutely love you guys and I'm grateful for each and every one of you guys. And I hope you have an absolutely amazing time getting your house ready for spring. If you already have your spring decor out or you finally get it out, please send me some pictures on Instagram. I would love to see how your space turned out. Anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.